Hey, there's no instructions on the paint. No instructions. No, no instructions. Oh, all kinds of cautions. Don't don't drink it. <laughs> don't pour it over your head and that kind of stuff. But do no directions. See, they consider everybody that buys this stuff as a total professional, and you don't need to be told anything. Oh, okay. Except for wear a mask and don't drink it. Well, that's a good start. But they won't tell you how to mix it. No but stress today, right? No stress. No stress. No, no stress. stress. Um, I was quite prepared to let it go till another day. I was kind of anxious. I'd like to get it, you know, like done because yeah. it's so smooth and ready. Jimbo, I was impressed the other day. I watched your video and you used a wheelbarrow as a paint roller. Uh, as a, I as did a, even as on the white and then I did on the green when I redid the roof. I'm going to use that someday. And, I'll tell you, and it's good now. If you've got too much in the wheelbarrow when you're done, yeah. it's hard to get it back in the can. <laughs> so you pour it out mm -hmm. into one of these wash basins. Right on. Wow. Like you pour it out into that, right? Out of the wheelbarrow. And then this into the can. Because there's no way you can pour it out of the wheelbarrow into that gallon can. I, I don't know if you need that or not. Well, that's this is the one they gave me. Okay, you got the exact same thing. You're fine. You're all but good. But this is measured for these big cans. Well, you're, big you're, cans, not we, this little we, tiny can. We just bring a couple masks in case we, we're going to stay. And but see, that's what they gave me, and that's good for a gallon. And look, it's half as big, which means it goes, instead of a one mixture, it's a half mixture. Because that can is... Uh, no, are you just... It's 473, I, and I, I, this is nine something. 946 so I, that's pretty darn close to halfway i understand but the size of the can does not affect the mixture yes no no well no. that means if i was mixing up a whole gallon i'd need two of these even though they said this goes for a gallon you're not mixing up a gallon of paint no for that. but does it hurt to put twice as much harder in it as you need well it's going to make your paint a different it's going to make your paint thicker you want, anyways, I, I don't want to get, I, I want you to have the best Well, time this is possible. what they set, sold me. Okay. Now, if we use your hardener, which is the bigger can that goes by this one, or this. What, what does that mix the paint right here? What's the same 412. 412. Okay. Is the one hardener or is the one reducer? Uh, the one would be hardener. Okay, so you just use. So when you, when this you, would be wrong because this is, is a half measure because listen, it's a smaller can. Let, let's check it out here. It'd be somewhere okay. there. Okay, same. say four one one. Uh, four one two. I understand that. I understand that. So if you're going, say if you mix it at, say two for the paint, you're going two to paint. Okay, you pour it that much on top of it to give you your hardener, the one. Oh, that's how that works. Yeah, and then you would go here. Uh oh, I may, I might have made a mistake here. You're fine. Uh, no, when I mixed my paint years ago. There's you go. Read okay, yeah. okay. This is how I did it. Four parts. One part, two parts. No, no. That's how he told me. That's how I'm sure he told okay, me to do. No. Four parts, one part, two parts. No. Sorry, Jimbo. For one. Oh, well, that's how I mixed it. Okay, well, there you go. That's what that, maybe your problem is. Four, you have four parts paint. Oh. And, and then you go to four on the one. See the one there? No. See the one up here? Yes. Well, then there's four. That's one. So you go oh. four parts paint, and then you dump that up to there with, with hardener. Okay. And then you go four, because that gives you two for the reducer. But you're, it doesn't fill the can. No. So you're basically, so you got four, oh, one, two. I was there, going right? four, <laughs> yeah, we, one, yeah, two. Yeah, well, you, that's, that's not the way you do it. So it's four parts wow. paint. Wow. Four, four parts that's paint. That's a lot different than the instructions he told me okay. and I've been doing. Four parts paint, right? You got yes. the, you're going on the four. And there's a four here. So that's the hardener. That's the one. Yeah, and there's the hardener there. And that's, that's the reducer. Yes. There you go. And that's your mixture. Oh my God! So you don't. It don't matter. Now, how. would that be any different than four, one, and two? Well, I would say, yeah, because there's there's a different amount. If you know what I'm trying to say, from from there I know. to there is a oh, different yes. amount from way up and, there. Well, here though is up almost twice as much too. Yes, but you got your hardener in there. Yeah, but I mean from here. Y yes, but you got your hardener. Here. Yeah, you got your hardener there. So you're right up to there yeah, with your wait hardener. A okay, uh, just paint alone, right, right here, right? Four. Paint, four. Say, just saying. Now the old way I did it was four here. Yes, and then you. Okay, well that's twice as much paint, and then you go that much hardener. Well, that's twice as much hardener. Yes, and then you go that much 
reducer and that's twice as much so in a way that's the same thing as going this outer line because it's just a bigger amount like this four to five one to seven is two is the same as the half can on the four four and four well you're you're mixed you go see that four right there yeah see that four right there and that four right there yeah well if you mix the whole one you be wet you'd be way above you'd be up there See, you would be mixing your four up to there. See, it's a lot less hardener. See, how, like, see where your four yes, is? Yes, but the way I did it was four way up here and one hardener. And that's twice as much, that's about twice as much uh, paint. So, and that little bit there is half as much as this. So that would be twice as much hardener. And that one four here for reducer is the same as though that's the twice. So in a way, it's same it's basically. Yeah, basically me just going this out. I'm sure he told me four, one part, and two. Right, but you must understand and that gave me a full can. Just that a, filled my can. Just a minute now. In my mixture. Just a minute now. Mixing. Just a minute now. If you got if you got if you went four here. Yep. Well, four on the first. If one. you went four on the first one, and you went five on the hardener, you would have yes. a lot more hardener than it's than down there. No, because the big crayon's bigger around. Oh yes, you'd yes. Have more can. Then but also, have... I got more paint because it's bigger around. Right. And I got more reducer because it's bigger around. So you could do it on on this stick. You could you could do if you had a straight up. Okay. This if contain... I was doing it on this stick, I'd go four parts. Yep. Paint. Yep. One part reducer. Yep. Two parts. Exact same thing. Oh, sorry about that. I'd have to have a square can. Right. Or something like in my spray, spray can. Right. I wouldn't be using that angled thing. Right. You know, it would save people a lot of grief if they made these square. <laughs> yeah. You know, yes. like the yeah. inch down here would be exact same as an inch up there. But when you put them on an angle, all of a sudden you need to be some kind of genius to figure that out. You got to go by the code, but I never heard of the way you did it. I was told. Well, it's got a mixed rate for you, you know. I was saying? told go up here four, then one part reducer or hardener, and one two parts paint See, or reduce uh, redu partner and reducer. And besides that, you don't need that much paint. No, well, like, I, you, I you might. Know. I got a fair amount of area. Well, you by you, the you time mix you through. mix as much as you like, but that's how I would mix it in that can. I would go by their. Stick with it. Uh, see if you're going to go to the three. The four. If you're going to go to the three, well then you would use the oh, three on that and, and that's the three the on that. Amount. So if so I that wanted, mixes it for you. So if I want this much paint, I'd go there, Seven. there, and up there. Right. Oh, that is. That's how that works. How come he didn't tell, tell me that? I'm, I'm not sure, sure. He told me. I'm sure I left that building and he said, "You go this last one here. Four parts, one part, and two parts." Yes, it, like yes, but are you using the little gun? Um, you're going to try it. So. Oh wow. I do, believe so. Do you have anything to hold it for yourself? No, no. I was I was contemplating that too, but then I got in the dilemma of that can being so small, and they said that's good for a gallon, and this is good for a gallon, and you can see it's half as much, which throw that measurement rate right all to hell. Well, if we went, if we use this can, how would you do that? Because this is half as much, and that's good for a gallon. But if we don't use this can and it just stays there and we use the, the hardener you brought, then I will follow your instructions. Oh, I'm going to follow your instructions today anyway, because since I really don't know what I'm doing, there's not much point in taking saying total control, follow me, because I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm, going I'm going to ask you something. Do you turn the lights on when you paint? Or do you paint uh, in the dark? Well, it won't make any difference. You paint in the dark? I paint. I hold the trouble light with the hose. Oh wow! Well. I'm gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna film you. That's how I did the Hudson. There's not enough light in here. I turn wow. these lights on, and it's not gonna help. Well, I suppose you make films and got the computer. And well, uh, the I can't. I tried to video this and put it on Facebook to get because I didn't know if you guys were gonna answer back, and. I tried half an hour. I even uh, signed. It was out. meant to be. It, it wouldn't go through. I, I got my camera to work, but Facebook on that computer just circle. The little circle goes round, round, round. I was but thinking. Yeah, it Can I go up. in your room here? Yeah. Man, oh lights. man, you got her looking. But no, I turn the lights on. It in here. I should be painting it in here because I got it all lit right up. In That's there. nice. Man, I guess you should. That's nice, you know Jimbo. Me? Now, this board that's on the bottom yeah. is the same height from the ceiling on both walls. So that's how crooked the floor is. Like if this, if I next year or the year after uh, feel like <laughs> fixing the floor and getting cement, it'd take at least a yard of cement and that would put it level with the board 
to the level of the board, then the floor would be level. I but have of to course, you can't put fire, you can't put cement in half an inch deep. It's got to be at least two inches. So I'd have to put it up like halfway up the board. I have so to I have to years. commend you to all the work you've been doing, man. Well, I'm giving I, and I sleep too. But I've been done every night at eleven o'clock at night on my painting. I painted the ceiling at night, and by the time I had the wheelbarrow cleaned out, Look at the wheelbarrow. by, by nice everything green. done, um, 11 o'clock, and then I paint the white, that was three coats, and by the time I was done, uh, paint roller. then I repainted the green. I can't, I never would have thought of it, Jimbo. But anyway, you don't clean out the wheelbarrow, you just get the worst of it back in the cans, and then you just brush it around, and it gives it another coat. That it was, was good. white. It was dark green, then light green, or white, and now it's green again. But did a fantastic job in here, man, I with the cement and everything. It's, it's, this is not chip rock, right? There's no, no crack chipboard no done. Chipboard. This, chipboard, and I fit it the chipboard with that uh, engine or that you know the student baker that engine yeah. is on that crank lift. Yeah. What I did is I hooked a sawhorse upside down on the lift. Oh wow! With, with clamps. Yeah. Your clamps. And then I put a piece of chipboard up on top of it and pushed cranked it, it to the ceiling, fitted it, and then I took my marker wherever I had to cut it to make it fit because this is an old barn. Uh, nothing fit perfect, right? In spots it would like an uh, eighth or a quarter of an inch, half an inch out, so I'd make a mark in a straight line, bring it down, grind off the edge with the mini grinder or the saw, and then put it back up and fit it. Anyway, I got it all fitted with no seams, like it all fits. This this was done before, was it not? Like it was done before, like... No, I did it. Well, like I know you did it, but I mean, what it was mean? done... You, you didn't just do it lately. No, I did it when right. when I had the Hudson in here. Yeah, okay. Before I... Uh, I had the Hudson in here all painted, and I was walking all over the back of it. I built this shop with the Hudson in here. Like I had to move it back and forth to get the the hoist to lift the chipboard but okay. anyway i okay, discovered okay, he's got the boards fitting, oh, baby well that's where the post is i understand but you got them fitting good but anyway there were spots where i had cracks yeah. in the uh chipboard and when i had i had like that much left of white paint in the bottom of the gallon and i discovered that y you could put extra amount on your brush and fill this crack <laughs> and down in that corner like these corners here i had quite you know big gaps like in here and stuff yeah. where things were crooked and you know i put it up anyway anyway i filled them all in with white paint fantastic now, did a great there was job. a couple spots i had to go back over because it was too much of a gap and after the paint settled a little bit caulking. or dried i like i didn't caulk it i just painted mm -hmm. it, you know, looks fantastic so if you need a paint tray grab yourself a wheelbarrow <laughs> <laughs> um, it works good. Oh yeah, I, could, I was thinking like, wow, that's quite a paint tray that and is. And you don't have to worry about the paint tray sloshing, and, and you're not constantly pouring more paint in. I've but seen the that. the problem is, there's how much too much green I mixed up to do the ceiling. Where are so, you getting your paint? Happy oh, Harry's? Yeah, yeah. Uh, how much a gallon are they charging? Um, $20. Okay, so you can gallon. get it. Yeah, good. Yeah, that's Late the cheapest. That's Latex. the cheapest they Yeah. But um, I overdid it. I got two three quarter those are both three quarters full the color of the ceiling two gallons of paint i don't know what i'm going to do with it you, 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 wherever you want to paint next that light color green i got two gallons so if you got a living room or a room in your house or something that you want that color green i got two gallons of it all righty oh well that's that's totally new instructions on that thing but i understand it now well yeah, holy shit, that's totally <laughs> different. Than holy what I was shit. Doing. I was just going here, 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 and here. And he says, no, you follow the numbers up through on the different uh, code. Like if you go, if you want the seven, you go seven paint, hardener, and seven reducer. But I was going right here to there and there. But that the way you did it uh, makes sense because they wouldn't have those numbers like that if it wasn't that way. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this thing, it, I sanded it with uh, Dry War Out 500. Dry War Out 500. That should be lots fine. Yeah. Because 600, okay, how does it work? 400 wet is the same as 600 dry. 
because I know for a fact if you sand something say 400 wet and then you have a brand new piece of 400 dry to touch up some little spot you go there and just rub it it looks like it makes some difference doesn't it? yeah it does doesn't it you know what i mean yeah. it really like there's no way you can do that you've got to go back to the water to sand it or like 600 dry to match 400 wet so anyway i figured 500 500 wet or 500 dry would wore out would be fine enough should be Look, he's got his big fan ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, I just took off both tops. The paint appears to be the same color. There's paint off the can of the little can smeared on the big can. Of course, this, well, what do you think? Look to be the same color? Mm -hmm. It looks good to me, Jimbo. No stress, buddy, no stress. Like that to that, because mm -hmm. they're like that's wet there and that's wet there. But anyway, yeah, yeah, it looks it actually it's more accurate on the mm -hmm. camera. So probably, she, probably she's showing a little bit of light on it. <laughs> well, I'll turn on the lights, but it no, won't. you do what you please, Jimbo. Don't 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 uh, don't. Well, me. no, I I like the lights, but I don't have. I won't. You you see in a minute. It won't really light this place up. Oh, flick those two light switches on. Do, 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 do. Yeah. It's a nice day to paint, though. I, I'm I'll hoping. give it, I'll give you that. It's a nice day to paint because, you know. Oh, should have some kind. Well, if you, we got three of us. We should be able to manage. I can hold the gun for you. Okay. I'm not doing much more than that, though. I'm holding the gun, and okay. that's it. Yeah. Well, I've wiped this out 20 times. I'm pretty sure it's clean. Um... I went to stir it. It didn't seem to want to be stirred. When I stirred it, it's just thick. The you paint? I mean? Yeah, it's all the same color all the way through. Could didn't, be could be cold. Yeah, but it didn't have any. Uh, the top didn't look in. It didn't look any different. Like I From stuck the top that to down, the bottom. Like yeah, I, that's good. I, I, like I went like that and that's it made good. no difference. That's good. Like it, it didn't have a film on top or on the bottom or on the bottom. That's good. You've got her stirred up good then. So. Should I use? Oh no! This paint or you, you the do paint? what you do whatever you please. What paint? How much do you think it's going to take to do three coats? It's going to take that little gun filled up. What? Probably filled up on each coat. Will that gun last one coat? Not quite. It'd be close. It'd be close. Uh, what? What paint? What? What do you got? A quart there that's new, and you got a gallon oh, there that, of the old paint. Yeah. I'd use the old paint before I use the new paint, but... You think? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, that's the stuff you paint your car with, isn't it? Yep. Well, then I would paint it with that but paint that this you this I bought because I figured this wouldn't go very far. Well, you might as well use your gallon up before you jump and start jumping into your court. Okay. I, th I think I would anyways. That, that's, that'd be my um, Unfortunately, we, there is another dilemma. This won't fit in the little can, which means I got to strain it like this to pour it in there and the paint's going to take forever to pour through well you can put the strainer i put the strain on that little top gun tiny gun but just take your time pouring it in i'll hold the gun for you you can strain in both ways if you want to yeah but that's too big i understand it's too big but when you dump the painting you just don't go fill it full you just take your time and dump it in the center you, of the strainer oh you just don't flood yeah fill, yeah, yeah you don't go up the screen so basically okay yeah, yes you know what i'm saying yeah you just don't go up the screen yes yeah, you See, I don't, okay. I don't want to mess up your flow here. I just, um, wanna, I flow. Just... What flow? <laughs> what you usually do? How's that? What usually you usually do? Um, here's the fact. I haven't painted. Here's the fact. He said you're going to get down, take a look, or you're just going to dump her in. Um, <laughs> I was going to just dump it in. That's what I usually do. Just dump her. Okay. In. Well, I want to go up to that number four. You think I? I don't know if you. Would... Or maybe I can go up to number six if I want. You can, but your paint is mixed and it's gone. Yes, but that's okay because I have an idea by the time I paint. Like, if three coats looks real good, I'm walking away. But if three coats... Don't look good, you're painting again. If I still have, like, I will have enough paint. Um, you, paint you put as much in as you think you feel like you do, feel like doing. How's that? Why don't you just dump, yeah, wherever the closest line is to emptying that can. 
He's gonna strain the paint even before he puts it in. Oh. You're right. Well, you're, you're gonna have to get more, I, yeah. Yeah, there is a problem with doing it this way. It, it takes just time. Takes, it just takes a long, long, yep. long, long time. That's, and yeah, that's why you said, I'll hold the funnel into the little one and just don't overflow the funnel. That, right. And then I still went and poured it in here. You're, you're all good. And man. now it's too late because now we got the. Nothing's too late, Jim. Uh, yeah, but it's kind of too late. I do have another filter, but now that I got the screen wet, that that's going to slop out over the plastic gun. You're fine. You're fine. Yeah. You're fine. Wow. You're fine. It is working, isn't it? Oh, yeah, sure. It okay. is. It's not going to hurt nothing. Filter and paint. Oh, I know what we'll do. We'll do all this. Yep. Wherever it lines up, that's the number. We'll go with the well, hardener it, and the paint. Well, it looks like you got three now, so you're, you're going to end up going to four. Yep. Jimbo, watch that line if you want to go above four. Oh, it'll it's, go right okay, to it's okay to go a smidgen above, and then I'll just go a smidgen above on the hardener and a smidgen above on the <laughs> you, reducer. You, you do as you please. Um, compared to the information, when I used this whole gallon and painted this car two years ago, yeah. next week, actually. Next week is two years. That's not bad. Um, I used the code I told you. Yeah, off that, to the side. Th that's that's uh, good. nothing to do with the numbers, but that numbers make sense. The numbers that you're talking about, there they and, make sense. And I'm thinking that just that's just because of the of the can itself. Okay, it's just about five. Matter of fact, by the time that's empty, it will be at five. So you'll be. Yeah, I'll just, you can pull that out and set that in there. Well, he's not going to waste any. That's for sure. He's going to dump it all in. Uh, nothing's coming out. <laughs> yeah. Well, terrible stuff. Uh, yes, that's at five. Uh, four, one, two, right here, five. So, in other words, we only put that much harder in there, just that little bit. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And you brought some hardener. I did. Do you want to use that hardener? Yes, definitely. Oh, this, I don't really trust this where this is half as big because it's half as big. <laughs> that's got nothing to do with the can. But it, the they can... told me this is good for a gallon. Okay, but the can And that's good for a gallon. Something no, no, no. Does, something doesn't add up here. No, 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 no. Go with that. That's Go with that hardener. It doesn't matter the size of the can. It matters whether you get it up to five on the in the inside the paint, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. So the fact they told you me that this is good for a gallon is Does, right. got nothing to do with nothing. It will mix up a gallon of paint. That's enough harder to make up a gallon of paint. But what I'm trying to tell you is, you only need to go up to the five. So that's lots. You've got lots of hardener. Lots. Okay. Lots. I I, I don't want to give you that. I like I would give you that hardener. Bring it out to give it to you. But it that is the right hardener for no. that paint. No, nothing's no such thing. No sir. This is the hardener they bought, they sold me two years ago. Okay. And I wouldn't recommend anything but a wear barrel or an old <laughs> rusty old tractor with this stuff because the paint is not. Uh, but I had troubles with my epoxy. My epoxy did not dry. And I was told when you put a good heavy coat of epoxy on, you should have let it sit out in the sun for a month in well. August or July. To dry and I didn't. I painted it the next day and I did not sand the epoxy. It went on a little orange peely, which was the beginning of my orange peel. Right. And the paint, the epoxy in the cold and hot is still drying and the chemical is coming out of the epoxy into my urethane red paint and softening it up to the point where when I, I used a putty knife on the front fenders. Oh, is that and right? balled up epoxy and red paint and a little ball wet and threw it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> That's how soft the paint was. Oh wow! In the sun, like don't use your hardener. Well, your hardener. The only thing is, your hardener is already open. This isn't opened, and we're only using that much. Do you want to use that? Yes. Well, it's entirely up to yeah, you. Since it's already opened, I, I think it's open. You didn't bring it. Bring me a new can. I'm not going to give it all. Oh, to you want pliers? No. Nope. Oh, you got it. 
but oh it's open okay wow okay so this goes up read that can before you before you watch it oh no it's, that's way too much reading for no, me no try the, it's, it's hardener is it it says oh, yes it says activator yeah okay activator okay so we want for a rate, we want the number six. We want to go, oh, wait a minute. No, number five. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you're, you're making me it's nervous. It's kind of like adjusting points or something. <laughs> I, uh, or setting the timing. Oh, Jim, you turned it the wrong way. I told you just turn it back a little bit, and you turned it the wrong way. Well, uh, okay, we want to go 412. We want to go up to the five right there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> There. Okay. This, um, you ain't seen nothing yet, but this is not a stressful day. <laughs> worst comes to worst. Uh, I got enough paint. I can wash everything down. I got a whole gallon of reducer. I got a whole box. You don't want to wash that down. You want no, to. Worst comes to worst. If I fall on it or something, I'll be washing it off and I'll be painting it. But, um, <laughs> Jeez. I plan on com completing this today one way or another, but um, I am such a perfectionist that I'm not going to stop until I'm done. But <clears throat> all I have is medium, but uh, should be all right. But anyway, I really appreciate you guys uh, taking, showing up at such short notice. Especially where we wouldn't miss this for the world, the message, would we, and you, and no reply. I figured you was it I, outside. I didn't know what to figure, but anyway, no no reply. So then I came out and I videoed my dilemma here, <laughs> and then I tried to. I got my camera to work, and then I tried to Facebook it, and no way. And then you messaged messaged back. So um, all is well. All is well. You get your tractor covered up, your snowmobile covered up. That's good. Yeah. Okay, now this is still the number five, four, one. We want to go right up to that five. Four, two, one. Five, five, five. Oh, where am I? Great. Yes, okay. You're out in your garage, Jim. <laughs> okay. Where am I, he says? Up to the five. Right okay. there. Yeah, that's good. Not the seven. <laughs> well, that's really... Yep, that's up to the five. That's uh, less reducer, I think, than what I put in it before. I, 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 I mean, it's just well, me. It's just me. I like my paint a little thinner. I know. I, I like it a little thinner because it, it goes on smoother, generally. And you just go a little faster. Goes, if, well, I mean, you only, well, you're not playing it right on, but it goes on smoother. You have one speed when you paint, and Quick. it's whatever flows. Right. And you, but you paint a lot more than I do. Like uh, I last time I painted it was two years ago. Well, no, I painted, I painted the bumper last year. You'll enjoy that little gun. Just like it's almost like spraying with a spray bomb. Oh my God! Did you wash that little gun out with any any? No. You should run it. Run a little bit of reducer through the gun. Just pour a little bit in the oh, gun okay. and just run it through. Just in case you know it's brand new. It could be like a little layer of plastic there inside. There was. I did notice oil inside before I put this on. There's yeah. a screen, and the screen had oil on it. Yeah, we should run a little bit of a little bit of but reducer. But that's down here on the air. Yeah, but run a little reducer in that cup. Oh, okay. And, and maybe just run it through and spray it through your gun and and. Yep. And not much. Well, you know, just a little tiny bit to make sure you're there's no there's nothing inside of it or, you know. That means I take the. <clears throat> so I um, moved two cords of wood. Pot, um, over to mom's and down in my basement. Wow. Um, You've been working like some bitch. Put it on the trailer, like six trips on the little trailer in mom's car, and unloaded it, stacked it, so my arm's got no strength, and it takes everything I got to take that top off. <laughs> everything I got to take that top off. Excuse my licorice. You're working like a son of a gun, haven't you? Mm. Got that room all done. That's That looks, looks awesome. Cement work looks good. I like the brick in there. It looks good. Ceiling looks good. Oh, that's too much. 
Well, this this here is going to show what you can paint a car anywhere. Is it not? Well, I this is where I painted the car the first That's what place. I'm saying. Like you've got a, an awesome paint job on that car. So you can paint a car anywhere. That's what it tells people. I've never used a gun like this before. I read the directions. <laughs> <laughs> Got your paint suit on, have you? Oh, it's spraying. Jimbo, you got your paint suit on. Um, I got that. It's <laughs> roughly about 50. Paint. Yes, I'm <laughs> taking the shirt off, though. Okay. That's, that's, but that's 50 pounds. That's 50. That's, uh, okay, it, that's quite. Okay. Oh, look. Uh, you had a cup of coffee there you yeah. forgot about, didn't you? Mm. You like cold coffee anyway. No, it, it has. It shouldn't be too cold. It's raining out. Um, maybe you, I uh, got another dilemma on this wagon. Yeah. Um, this was gone. So I put a, I heated up and got the nut off and put a piece of metal to hold this leg back on. This is too long to reach down there. It's supposed to go down there, but I got a jack stand under one corner. <laughs> and if you take that jack stand off, this thing does a 45 on the spot. Yeah. Why? Wheels not Quite, center. Well. Um, okay, take the jack stand out. Oh, we don't want to do that right now. You're painting. Okay. Well, the whole thing does a whole, the leg, these, this stays here and the whole front end goes 45 degree angle immediately. So I got one jack stand. So anyway, I'm not trying to modify it, but I'm trying to figure out how come it wobbles, goes off to the side so fast. Mm. She's well used. Look at this hand. No, I know. <laughs> you know. But it's been outdoors. It's, it's turn of the century. Since Christ was a cowboy and Jesus was a wooden Indian. Oh, good coffee. Okay, so that may or may not be enough to paint the car. That's lots. That's lots, you think? I would say. Okay. I would say. Two front fenders in the top of the bumper and the headlights. Okay. Right? Just tuck oh. it in. Just tuck it in your pants. In your pants, Jimbo. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, uh, interrupt me anytime you see me doing something wrong. Because What's going on with this? Is it loose? Oh, you were tugging on it with your thing. That's why. When you were just in your ear, <laughs> which I thought it was almost going to fall. You see me doing something wrong, forget being no polite. No stress. <laughs> forget being polite. Stop me in my tracks and say, Jim, stop! <laughs> That's not Fuck, a, you're doing that wrong. Not a chance. Okay? Not no, a chance. not a chance. Well, you did a good job painting the car. You're not listening. I'm going to speak louder. <laughs> you see me doing something stupid, you stop me right on the spot and correct me. Uh, don't, um, don't, uh, no, no place here to be polite. Well, if you don't mind having red paint in your hair, you're, you, you oh. okay. <laughs> that's the first but thing. You I'm know right. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I'd rather you be. I'd rather you be right than polite. <laughs> here, I don't care. Off the property, you can do anything you want, but on my property, it's a rule: right, not polite. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about politeness. <laughs> Uh, if you want politeness, leave the property. Um, I, you've got to say, whatever you say, it's got to be right, not polite. There you so go. If you see me say something stupid, you stop me. Okay. Because I just might not Wow, know Jimbo, that. come on to me. I never come on to me like that before. It kind of scared what, me. You know, I should have bought new uh, gas masks for this thing. They do work, <laughs> but not very good. You, you may as well stir your paint up before you start, uh, before oh, I start yes, doing that. Yes, yes. Yeah, you want to stir that up. I can hold that if you like. Oh, okay. <laughs> you sound like Darth Vader over Oh, it's gone. I should have bought new Plugged up. The only problem with it is it's, this is, this thing's going to make me want to rush when I actually um, don't need to rush. You got that right. Because I, 
I have to really concentrate on breathing because it's almost plugged up. Do you want to try mine on? At least one of these things. Is yours the same? Do you, do you want, right. Just try the mask on. I plan on standing over here. I don't plan on well, getting involved. I should have bought lot. new cartridges because th those are dried up. Check it out and see what happens. See if it even fits you. Um, it looks identical. It does. Well, that's a lot better. <laughs> Yours must Case. be plugged. Yeah. I... Oh, yes. I can take my time now. Whenever you're ready to... Whenever you want to. That's a happy painter. Joanie's got her mask on. She's all bundled up, ready to rock and roll. You can't smoke with this thing on. <laughs> so remember, when you when you go to dump the paint in this filter, you're just going to dump it in the center of the filter, yeah, right? Not, okay. Not up the filter. Yeah, exactly. And if you do spill some, just just put the cover on it, wipe it off, right? Yeah. Right on. Okay. Take the cover off. I'll hold the gun. And uh, you you can fill wherever you feel comfortable. Oh. You're full enough. Well, it's lots. Okay. You bring your can over. Bring your thing over here. You might want to just second dump some out, okay? Or you don't want to dump none out? Oh. It's a little full. Okay. No, you, you actually put your cover on, see what happens. It might squash out a little bit. You just have to wipe it off. You're going to spray a little bit and get your pattern where you want it first, uh, or you know it? To some degree. Okay, well, that's I, I suggest that if you want to. If you don't want to, that's entirely That's what the first coat's for. No, I would spray it against your door or spray it against your door or spray it, or spray it out the side there and just yeah. check it and see the, what the pattern looks like. Because the pattern... Yes, yes. You know, you want a, a good pattern on your gun. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Took your earbud out, didn't I? I'm going to go around your... Which one's paint? Or which one's pattern? I can't remember. What's that? I got a round pattern. That, that makes it bigger? See how it goes bigger? Okay, that okay. turns it back to make it smaller. So you want... Oh, that's better. Okay. Got a little paint on your top of your gun. You might want to be careful of that, Jimbo. What? Got a little paint leaking out of your gun. Oh, you want... yes, yes. I can hold it for you if you want. Just check the top of your gun, Jimbo. Oh, Just make yeah. sure your paint don't run out on you. You want a rag? I got a rag. Okay. Just see so you get a drop, that's all. Isn't that a nice spraying little gun? Yep. Huh? I got a... 
it. Don't touch it. Well, let it dry, then it'll wipe it off. Don't touch it. And here I got a drop, and here I got a hair. Just don't let it dry, and then wipe it off. Well, yeah. You haven't got much paint on it, so you might as well just let it dry. Yeah. I'm getting water. What? I gotta close those doors. I'm getting water on the front. What you got? Water? Water. You got water on it? I got water coming in the doors. Water coming in the doors. Shut your doors. Uh, uh yes, up, up, up above. Do you want me to shut it? I guess so. I didn't really want to, but I got water on. You can hold this for a sec. Oh, I gotta hold it level. Water drops. Yeah, they don't paint good water drops. Nope. Got one right there, Jimbo. Yep. Drives and tribulations of painting a car. I'm, uh gonna have to touch that that'll that, you'll turns. cover that'll cover up no problem okay. looks all right now I never um, tacked it off but it might be all right you're what you call um, a lot let me get out of here yep You want me to turn this fan on over here? Yes. If you think we're getting paint. Well, I mean, let's face it, you got you got paint going. Might as well have the airflow going out. How do I turn that on now? Uh I got it. buttons. I got it. Jimbo didn't even put any water down. Yeah, you're right. That did cover in. Oh yeah. You haven't. You haven't. Just a second now. You, oh, had, a yes, little, you had a little spot there. You want to get rid of? Just, yep. just leave. And I got a hair right there and another little drip right here. Come on, tangled up. <laughs> I need. Uh, Do you want a piece of tape? I got it. What do I like to do? Do I? No, just get 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 out of that. Let that dry for a second. Oh, well, and then and then knock it off. Right there. Then knock it off. That looks like is it water or is yes. what is it? Is water? Yeah, I touched it and it disappeared, but it left it took the paint away. Okay, so you hope you can put and more paint on that. I just don't know if you can blow that off with your gun or oh. maybe a piece of tape and touch it. Oh, I just sprayed it. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get any tape? Uh, no, I ran out of tape. I used oh, I should have brought you some tape. Uh, if this, if I let this dry a little bit. Yeah, you'll be okay. fine. Uh, I let it dry a little tiny bit. I should be able to just wipe that off. Yeah, you let it dry. Because yeah. I sort of have to wet that dry. For a few minutes. Is it water or is it something that went in the paint? I think it's just a speck of uh, dust fell Here. off that rag when I picked it up. Here. Yeah, I'm gonna, actually, I'll put the rag over here on your coat. Uh, you've got a piece of tape right. Okay. Get her. 
rip a piece of tape off that and oh, roll yes. it in a little ball and just touch it. Do you know what I'm trying to tell you? I'll take that. Take a little, take, rip a little piece of tape off of that. Roll it in a little tiny ball. Yeah, exactly. Roll it in a little yeah. ball and then try to see if you can touch it. Yep. Ooh. Touch oh, them. I'm gonna have to let it dry. Okay. And then I'll just take my finger and touch it. Smooch it in. Because I just made a little burn. Yeah, okay, you, that'll be fine. That, that'll cover no problem. Anyway, I had quite a time getting the ripples out, but I got it after a few days. What, what, you, you didn't use very much paint by looks oh. things. Looks like it's still. I might have, well, the second and third paint job or coats take a lot more paint than the first, don't they? Well, I, I generally put it on wet every coat, but you do what you, you paint like it the way I, you I want to. I usually try my first coat, I just put on enough to make it wet. You know what I mean? I, Isn't that right? Just enough to make it tacky for the second coat to stick. Well, so, I, I generally. Oh, even on your first coat, put it a little heavier. Well, I, I'm, I'm bad like that, I am. Okay. But you, you paint it the way you want to paint it, that's oh, I for sure. That was rain. It just got it. Mm. I, can, I can hold the gun for you if you oh. like, if you want to look around it to look and um, see where you're going. I could have been a little more daring if I was going to put the first coat on a little heavier. Well, listen, it's, it's best to do what you're doing, what you're used to. But you can go touch the tape and see where the paint's at. I know, it's still okay. wet. Yep. Now, if this was a scorching hot day, it'd be dry by now. No doubt. Um, How'd you like the little gun? I like it. It seems to be, um, it's putting the paint out. Oh, yeah. Because that Develvis that I've been using just quarter that much paint. Yeah. And I'm going as fast as I can, and it's, oh, my Lord, a lot of paint. Like, it... It's good for that little job, isn't it? Uh, it's more than, oh no, like I'm used to that big gun that puts out 1% paint. Yeah. And this is putting out 99% paint. Okay. So I'm not used to the, oh my Lord, look how much paint I just sprayed in. And that's going as fast as I could. It's covered the whole fender. So um, it, I'm not used, I see, it's been a long time. It's been never that I've painted a car with a good gun. It's been never. Well. Um, <laughs> they've always been half half paint. You know what I mean? Like not like this is already putting out three times more paint than I'm used to using. So um, I'm hoping that I don't run this all like run. You're fine. Run. I don't like it. One A runs. Well, you know how to polish. There should be something I can hang that on. Well, a vice would be sufficient. Right there, hanging on that. Oh, you think? Will that stay there? Okay. Jeez. I mean, I wouldn't go banging it or anything, or. But well, he's going for it. He's going for that little spot. Don't, do you, you want a piece of tape? Try it, or you should put your finger on the on the tape, uh, Jimbo. Yes. Try the tape first and see if your paint's dry. Put your finger on the tape oh. when you're painting the tape. Um. In the dry spots, I can touch it. <laughs> okay. Look, you know what well, I mean? This is, this is what I would do. Wet, that I, I would try down here oh, with, yeah, on the tape. I don't have enough tape down. Oh, here, that's covered up. There you go. Well, it's sticky. But I do have to pick that one little spot off. But it's still, the paint's, it's sticky enough to put my second coat on. But I got to get that little speck off. So I want uh, just a smidgen drier. I should have brought you some leftover tape. Um, I might have... But anyway, I'm ready for my second coat. It is plenty, not, it's tacky. Uh, it's ready, but um, I'm not. I gotta get that one little speck out. Here. Oh, you got some tape? I do. Oh, I got tape right there on the window too. It's Go like that. Um, I'll hold the light. And you, you don't want me to pick it out. Again, it's only on the surface. Wow. Oh, almost. Oh, stop. Okay, now you got half it. Ooh, there. Wow. There you go. Dr. Chad. <laughs> yeah. I used to I used to play that game. What's that game called? 
Where, you, where it buzzes? Operation. Operation. Okay. Yeah, well. <clears throat> there you go. I shouldn't have balled um, that up. I balled that piece of tape up. I'm a waster. For me, I'm going to have to turn either the paint back a little bit. I like the pattern wide, but i got to have either a little le less, less paint or, and less air because it's coming out a little heavier than... It's coming, the paint's coming out a little faster and heavier than I want it to. I got to go too fast. Oh, I was going to crank her up for you. <laughs> no, I, I want to be able to move a little slower and put less paint on so I can, like, I, on that other side, I zipped as fast as I could go and it covered the pan panel. And I know at that rate and the crookedness of all the different angles I got to go in around the nooks and crannies that I'm going to end up with runs with too much paint coming so in. So that would be your... Well, I read the directions, but I forgot them all. That would so be that. Would, that's pattern. That's that's volume, and this is air. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm watch that; it'll fall over. Oh, you do okay. as you do as you think you do. This is the volume of paint. You haven't even got that tightened up. No, no, it's <laughs> sitting wherever it came from from the box. Um, oh, it's supposed to be in. What are well, we getting it more paint? Or well, I'm just turning in for less less volume of paint. Oh, I'm going to turn it in a little bit for you, and then okay. tighten that up. Yeah. You'll have to try it. It's wherever it was out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> the back mom was popped out of it. But I don't want massive, I don't want maximum paint because I'm in around too many weird angles and I know I'm going to get runs. So no, you don't, you're not going to get runs, man. Chill. Well, thanks for bringing your mask because... No that, worries. Wrong. Uh, yeah, that's the right one. Yep. Oh, boy. Hope it's not raining like this at home. You know, is it raining right now? So if you want to paint a Ferrari, bring her to Jimbo's garage. He'll paint it for yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, it wasn't the car's fault that all this happened. It wasn't the car's fault that all this happened. Look how much paint's left. Yeah, like, how much paint, like, really, well, like, you, you've got lots of paint, eh? I'm going to have to use it all, because I might have to buff it. Well, whatever, you do, you do as you please. Like six coats. You do as you please. But there's lots of paint left in that little gun. I know. Too much. You're going to check your pattern out before you start again, are oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> you have the whole place red dotted, Jimbo. Oh, yeah. You keep it up. It's just one spot. <laughs> <laughs> you ever watch that movie, Clint Eastwood, Paint the Town Red? It's kind of cool the way... Uh, this extension cord, or this cord, tangles into this loopy thing and it helps hold it back a little bit. Yeah. It's been hitting the car a couple times, so you're going to have to make sure you... Man, that thing's spraying good, isn't it, huh? this midnight auto mm, that looks good well done Jimbo that looks good That looks good. It is the first first row coat, isn't it? It I is. Got a lot of no specks in it. Well, let just let that let that settle down. A lot of specks.
I don't know what they are. Like uh, specks. Like look at it. Like little tiny. It looks like uh, fish, fish eyes. eyes. It does. Well, where'd they come from? Because they weren't there on the first coat. They weren't the, well, I did put it on heavy enough for first coat to notice it. But those are fish eyes. I did wipe this down with your Windex. Well, that, that wouldn't do it. Nope. Well, what would cause those fish eyes? Well, would it be the uh, oil that was on that little screen? <laughs> you didn't take off the end and wash nope. it. But I sprayed reducer for it. Yeah. They're not really deep enough to hurt anything yet. No, but if, by if the it, time I, if I get those on any, oh, those are, yeah, that's bad. Those are fish eyes. They're not, what do you think? What do I think? Uh, that sucks, uh, but. That's not going away. Well, they're that's not. Gonna, that's going to continue right up to the end. Well, you know what I would do? I would probably put a, um, keep going, but just put a dry coat on it. Don't put it wet. Okay. Don't put it wet. Just put dry. Just do keep it going dry for a little bit. See what happens. Don't put it on wet. Just put it on dry. Okay. Uh, Still getting them? Don't put it on wet. Just nope. put it on dry. Cause that paint, that, that gun usually don't give, make it thick enough to get it orange feely. Put it on dry, Jimbo. Yep. Going fish eyes? You must have something on this fender then. I'm putting it on dry. Come back around. If, if you got that side painted. Uh, yep. I, I'd put a dry coat over top of that is what I would do. I'd let, prom, almost okay. put a dry coat. Just a dry coat. A dry coat just and a, no fish eyes. Just missed it. Okay. Just missed it. Because you start getting wet again, it's going to make them fish eyes work. I just missed it. Yeah, about like that. There you go, just the mess, yeah. Right on. Well, this fender didn't get any different treatment than the other fender. Okay, well, you had something that went on. A little, you gotta, I'd let it set for a bit. We gotta get that out. Uh, just yep. let that go. Just let that go. See how that little, missed that a little yeah, bit? That's, that's going not too bad. Just, I just keep going with that. Put it on dry for a little bit. Because that paint's not thick enough in that gun to go orange peely on you. Have you noticed that? Yep. So basically what you're going to have to do is kind of build that paint up on that side. I don't know why that fishy eye on you. Yeah. But like that, that gun probably should have been cleaned, like took the nozzle off and wiped down with before you started. It was brand new, right? Yep. That's why I say pro. And there was oil on the screen. Well, there you on go. The intake. On the in intake. Here. There you go. There so was probably, an oil film. There probably was an oil film on the end of the nozzle. You probably should have took the nozzle and, and cleaned that off. And probably that oil film that's on the end of that nozzle would blow up through with the air and that would be enough and that might take a few sprays before it gets there so basically what i just just my opinion 
several dry coats on that fender until the well, those fish eyes yeah, are filled in. Yes, yeah. I would, that's probably what I would do. And then, then you can lay a nice wet one on. Because it's not that thick that you're getting any amount of I know. texture. And I don't, yes. You're not getting textured right now. No, no. Well, and that's it's not. And usually if you put it on thin and dry, it goes orange peely. Yeah. And it isn't. It, it's just going on dry. So right. the paint's mixed plenty wet. So that's, like you said, that's a good thing. But the bad thing is the fish eyes. So if we put enough paint on there dry. Just keep, just dry ne the next one dry. Maybe it'll talk whatever's causing the fish eye out of its existence so that it'll cover over. And when we want to go shiny, it'll accept it. Also, when is you, it looking any better? When you when you start again on this side, yep. try to get that try to get that edge right there. I know, I right. Yes. You're going this way, but you never oh, you know, get that edge. Right. Yep. But that that's wet. Yeah. Well, we do have. Um, I'd let it dry. Let it dry. Let it dry or wash it off. No, let it dry. You're getting washing that off. You have some mess. I know, but I've done it before. No, because no. Because it is awfully fish eye. No, I'd, ra I'd rather see you sand it and respray it than, than wash oh. it off. You'll have a huge mess, man. You'll have a huge mess. I just, le I just let it leave it be. Let it dry. I wonder if I got fish eyes on the other side. That's a good question. You want that light? Uh, no fish eyes over here. Okay, well, there's something that, contaminated this side then. Or it's well, the, the, it's the same. No, it's just dry. Although I have an idea. If, you know, if I put it on heavy like I did there, it would have been fish eyes. You think? It, it's maybe that first can of, of paint is contaminated due to not washing out the gun. Well, we're, we're, we're empty now. You're empty there now. Okay, so I'll, wa I'll dump reducer in it. And maybe unhook the gas, the airline, and maybe dump a little bit of air uh, reducer in the airline to wash the oil out of that little filter. That I'm saying that the nozzle probably should have come off and been wiped at the end. Okay. Turn the nozzle, wipe that off with the reducer. Because I know the filter where the air chuck went on. Yeah. That had oil on the filter. Okay. And that would be air going through that. Yeah. I, I just take take your rag, take that off. And wipe, wipe inside that. Because in there, there's a filter, and I, there, yeah. that was soaked with oil, and the air going through it would yeah. soak, put the oil up in. And I would dump that paint. I just dump that paint out. Well, then again, like the paint's probably fine. Yeah, okay. It's down in here, it would, like take, nothing take, in here goes up in there. Take so. that, take that off, and just wipe that off with a little bit of reducer. Here, I'll hold that gun instead of doing that. Here, here, here's your rag. Just dump it in. Just to put, oh, okay. Put it in your finger. Just wipe a little bit on that. Do what? Just dump a little bit on that. Okay. Just a little tiny bit. Good. Now just wash the end of that gun off. Probably packing the oil in there or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Jeez, hard to believe that that's enough. Well, you want to take your finger, put your finger in there. Okay. But I know that screen up in there was soaked with oil. Well. So that would, with air blown through it, that would suck all that oil up into the gun. So maybe that should be wa taken off, washed. I'm go with that for now. You think? Yep. Not take that screen out and um. wash it, because that was covered with oil, and the air going through it brings the air up in to the paint. If it's got oil on it, if you noticed oil on it, you probably should wash it off. I should have um, washed it off when I noticed that there it was oily. That's still wet. Hard to believe. I suppose it's cold. Oh, that's odd. It's not over the whole fender, though. The screen there. disappeared. Huh? There was a screen in there, and I put it in. The screen is gone. Okay. Well. What happened to it? The little man ate it. I. You know what? You haven't got fish. Well. There was a little. Oh, that's a delusion. 
Well, I put this on, and there was a screen in there that's not there now. Babe, well, that's weird. I put this on. Yeah. This is how it came, and there was a screen in there that I did not lose. And I put this in because I pulled the screen out. Oh, it's oily. And I put it back in and I put this back on and I just took it out and it's not there. Oh, it's making me a liar. <clears throat> yeah, I'd let that dry, Jimbo. I'd let that dry. And then I put a, I'd let that dry, put a coat of dry on it, and then try to get them fish eyes relaxed. Yep. Before you start putting shine to it. Because uh, cause you're, cause you're probably going to polish it like the rest of it, are you not? If I have to, yep. But it's... Should have kept that piece of paint, uh, that piece um, of tape. I'm not sure where those uh, fish eyes came from. Though. Me neither. That's too bad. But it's slow, slowing us down. That's fine. You're not in a big rush, are you? Um, this side looks good. Yeah, I know. If I'd put it on heavy, though, I would have got the fish eyes. Yeah. You just got a little fly right there. Want to hold that light? Yep. Jimbo? You want to hold that light? <laughs> See if we can get that. Oh yeah, you've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I won't. I won't wind, wind this one up and get rid of it. Got it? Um, it's gone, isn't it? Oh yes. yes okay, yes. good. No, no, you did good. No, I. Yeah, put the uh, those fish eyes. If we can. Let it go if dry. we don't have more coming, let it dry. It's yeah. it, it's working on. If we way. don't have more fish eyes coming, those should flow over. Those should, you look, put it on and put a coat of dry on. It. Don't put wet on it. Yeah. Because the it would have fish eyed on the other side. But I wonder what happened with that screen thing that I was talking about. Because I know darn well, I oh what's the screen doing in there? And it was coated with oil, and I put the end on. But that doesn't make any sense because I put the end on. Where'd you put that gun at? Oh, it's right here. Oh, okay, you got not as long as it's not laying. It's because you want to be careful the top hole. That's the only way it breathes, oh. right? Yeah. Wouldn't make any sense for them to have a. Uh... I'm going to get my coat right back. Yep. screen wasn't in there. The screen wasn't in there. The screen was in here okay. before this goes on. And when I took the rubber plug out, it pulled the screen up. Oh, the screen and the screen had oil on it. So it's the screen in there that might want to be washed off. Yeah, that's what's going on. Um, You know your fan's working. I uh, discovered uh, it wasn't the screen in here. The screen's in there. Okay. And that was oily. Well. So I'm going to. Well, that's that's all it's done now. Like you've got paint in that. I can't. You're going to pull that screen out, are you? Okay. Yeah. Well, the paint's going to pour to that, right? Um, okay. You know what's well, going that's, on. That's why I'm over top of this little yeah, okay. thing. I got more paint than I need. Yeah. I agree with you. Okay. Okay, that's all right. Now there is a screen right there that's yeah. oily. Well, you need to. I wouldn't dump. Well, anyway, I gotta get scissors. That shouldn't have had oil on uh, it, but. It, that was coated with oil. Okay, well, okay. So let's wash that off in reducer. And that. And dump, might, that, and dump that back in. That might solve the problem because that was slippery, oily. Like uh, head law, almost like um, 
And you should have, there's uh, probably... Three in one oil there, type thing. There probably should have been another one with it. Yes, there is. Okay, where's that at? Right here in the bag. That one got oil in it, just throw a new one in it. But you well, can clean, this one clean, should be all right. Clean that one, I... but that, that's good to change when you, whenever you feel yeah. like it. Well, well that should eliminate there. all the oil. Awesome. But that was slippery. That was all slip. I could tell that had covered with oil. Slippery, slippery. You know, so that yeah. that that oil is what I did not wash off. Now, there. Get to the bottom of this after a while. And you sort of, and you're, you might have a little bit of an issue when you've got stuff all over the place. Like that rag could be on something. That <laughs> okay. You want to put more paint in it? Are you ready to uh, rock and no. roll again? Uh, I think it's a little too dry. Or too, not dry enough. Well, this is how I would tell. Touch the tape. Yeah. Uh, paint dries faster on the tape. It's, it's, it's not quite dry yet. You're right. Yeah. You're it, right. It, it's a slow, and I got medium, right? You know, it, yes, and, and, your, and your temperature that, is not... That little screen was covered with oil when I put that top on, so that could have been our reason. So if it can probably handle a little bit of that, like if we put another dry coat on that... I would, I, I, would, I would go a dry coat over it all, let it set, and then try to, try to go a little bit yep. more as, as you get going, so... And especially if I've eliminated the problem now with the new paint coming on, because if I, if I was getting fish eyes cons consistently on more sprays, uh, no matter what we do, we're not going to fix it. Try to get your edge coming down here. Yeah. yeah. On this going that way and on that fender on the other side too. Because you got both fenders, right? I just don't want to see you not have enough red paint, that's all. I know how but that feels. I do have plenty of paint, don't I? You got, you got lots. Yep. All day long, you can keep spraying that until that's nice yeah. as you want it to be. Because that little gun don't leave enough texture to, to bother anything there, I don't think. Like, so, you know what I'm saying? I it, didn't, uh, no orange peel. Yeah. It just, exactly. Dull. Yeah. It's nice. And usually, it? the big guns, when it's dull, it's orange peel. It uh, does, isn't it? That's weird. And well, that, you've got a smaller gun making a smaller spray, right? You're okay, a lot, lot, lot less If you product. put a dry coat, in, with a big gun, it doesn't just go dry, it goes orange peeling. Yes, it does, yeah. Always. As a matter of fact, it's almost impossible, unless you get the flow perfect, to do it so that it's not orange mm. peeling. Temperature means a lot too. Mm -hmm. Right? For your right temperature in your room so your paint will flow. I know. And what's real bad, I know for a fact, is if it's warm and you've got a good coat your say second coat heavy ready for your third coat and then it drops 10 degrees and the air blowing in freezes <laughs> gets cold in the and the next hour it's cold it'll soften that what's already set up it'll soften it back up to activate and then you have sags come here babe but come take a look who's who's who says who says you need a paint room <laughs> oh that's been there for years <laughs> Mm. Right? Oh, well, that. Yeah, that screen was covered with oil. And. Um, anyway, Gotta watch it's it. It's not now. It's not now. Yeah, I think, you can, I think you'll be all right. You got enough paint there to cover them three or four or five, six, seven, eight times, probably. Yeah. And, uh, and, oh, and as I said, like you said, put it on dry until I have it uniform. And then, well, yes. then work it up to a shine. And hopefully, there's no fish eyes. That's the one. Mm -hmm. Like even when I do, like this coat will be dry. And when I do go to my wet coat, not to go totally wet, just go in between wet, just a little bit wet, just to test to see if there's fish Try eyes. to build that paint up a little bit so then fish eyes are gone, sort of. Yeah. Or to over, you know, to, to and paint the bridge them. ourselves that we're not getting more fish eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. While yeah. we're at it. Got lots of camera time, sweetheart, or you're... Well, I'm, I'm impressed with that information on how to read those cups. 
Because that's not how I did. Well, it. It, on, <laughs> yeah, well, you, you're you're doing the exact same way, you know, it, but the cup, I don't know if it would have measured right, but your stick would have measured right. I didn't you use were, the stick. Okay. I used that one column, one four parts, one part, and two parts. Yeah. Like, if you would have used the stick and go four, yeah, one one, I think that. But the stick in that jug probably should be all the wrong, same, or is it? Is the stick calibrated with the with the well, can going bigger like that? No, but the stick is just one every time, and I, I can't say it would throw you off that much. You know, I do it all the time. I, get, I like my paint a little thin. I like a little more reducer than, yeah. than most. Cause I like my paint thin. That way there, I don't have a problem with it. <sighs> yes, oh. Keep I rocking? No, those are certainly fish eyes. Alrighty, Jimbo's gonna put some, gonna keep putting the paint on dry to keep her rocking and rolling, I guess. And then uh, we'll see what happens in the end. We could film all day, but uh, I don't think that's going to allow it on the camera today. So we're yeah. going to just say, until well, next time. Um, to be continued is what it is. To one, be continued. one way or another, I'm going to have good luck here. Yeah. Tell them, Jimbo. Like, yeah. subscribe, comment. <laughs> yeah. Come on back. Share. And mm. uh, hope Jim luck. Yeah. Um, if, yeah. Yeah. Say it, Jim. We'll give him the last word. Give him the last I, word. Worst comes to worst, I'll wash it off. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, don't wash it off. You'll have a mess. You'd rather, oh, I'd, rather, I'd rather see you sand it with a sand piece of sandpaper than wash it off. Mm. You'll have a mess, you start washing it. Don't do that. Just put some paint on it, then sand it. But yeah, I mean, if the fish eyes get real... No, I wouldn't wash it off. I'd sand it.